Hello Wicked Army and welcome to the update. Today we are going to spotlight the newest hero in Clash of Clans, the almighty Battle Machine. Let's see if we can reach 500 likes on this video and make sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest gameplay of the new update. With that being said, let's get started. So how do you get the new hero? If you go around the new builder base map, you will see some ruin type structures, the gem mine, the clock tower, and if you go to the other side, you'll see a broken down structure called the battle machine. So when you try to rebuild the battle machine, it'll pop up with a message on explaining what it is. And then if you try to rebuild it with the elixir cost there, it won't let you unless you have builder hall five. So my builder hall is currently at level three. And uh, if you see any stats or elixir costs in this video, it could change because I did this before the update hit. So here's a level five battle machine that I prepared earlier. The description reads, the master builder's prize invention smashes enemy buildings to bits. What better way is there to show who's the best builder around? Unlock the electric hammer ability to give opponents a real pounding. And the description of the electric hammer is, the battle machine calls down an energizing bolt of lightning, recovering some health, making the next attacks do increased damage. After a time, this ability recharges and can be used again. So there's a big hint here down the bottom, Upgrade your hero to level 10 to improve his ability. So at the moment you can only get to build a hall 5 and the maximum battle machine level is level 5. So that's a huge hint. There's going to be higher builder halls in the future. So let's demo the battle machine against builder hall 5 defenses. First up is the crusher. Now the crusher is really good against melee range units and does really high damage to them. Uh, the battle machine there used the electric hammer ability to finish it off. And I like to use the ability usually when the battle machine has around 10% health loss because you want to start using that rejuvenation as much as possible during the raid. So the uh, rejuvenation electric hammer ability, roughly around 15 seconds at this stage, it might improve um, in higher levels. But as you can see, it's coming into the multi mortar right now. The multi mortar completely misses it because the battle machine was not going through walls and there was nothing to stop it. So the speed of the battle machine just outran the mortar shells there. So the Tesla just had no chance against it. And now we're coming up against the guardhouse and he's going to be taking care of those uh, guardhouse units one unit at a time. It's only a single target attack. And there we go, the guardhouse is down. And now we're gonna go over to this elixir collector where I wanted to demonstrate that spring traps do not fling it up in the air like the heroes in the main base. So my main tip with the battle machine is I know it is considered as a tank, but against multiple defenses, like any hero, it is very vulnerable, especially against the crusher right here. And it just destroys a ton of health. So I would recommend having a few boxer giants. So it gives you a chance to use that electric hammer ability and rejuvenate as much as possible in the battle. So with that being said, let's see more of the battle machine in action with a full army composition here. We've got some boxer giants, we've got some baby dragons and some cannon carts there for long distance. So I put the boxer giants in front of the battle machine to take the initial hits because I find raids that use the battle machine straight away, the battle machine's health just goes down really quickly. So it's good to have some giants in there to take the initial heat from the defenses at the start. So the battle machine, you gotta try to hit that ability as much as possible so it rejuvenates the health. And I find people that use the battle machine really well and keep it alive as much as possible, get a high percentage in the raid or even three star the base. So you gotta keep an eye on that battle machine, use that ability, don't forget it, and try to back it up with good troops to support it and uh, try to knock out the defenses to help it out. So the battle machine with the help of the giants and the cannon carts did make it to the core for that two star and uh, the, there it is in the middle there, knocked out. There's two baby dragons left and that should be the end of the raid. This last baby dragon, the firecrackers are going in and the Tesla on the last two baby dragons and that's gonna be a solid two star at 65%. So there is a bunch of new troops in the new Clash of Clans version, but there is the Night Witch coming soon, which is from Clash Royale, another Clash Royale crossover, along with a dropship, which is a brand new troop that I have not seen before. It is not like the Loon, it doesn't drop bombs, it drops skeletons at the enemy, 
and then we have the Super Pekka, which is electrifying right now. You can see the uh, electric powers that it has, and it's just a modified version of the normal Pekka. So the troops in the build base, I'll cover it in another episode, so make sure you subscribe to this channel uh, to get the latest gameplay and tutorials, and make sure you turn on the notifications so you get notified when I post a video, because it will be quite frequent. Maybe even as soon as I finish a video, I'll post it straight away during the update season. I do want to clarify that the battle machine cannot be used in the main base at this stage. It is only available for 1 vs 1. So also on the defense, it does not defend like the Archer Queen or the Barbarian King. It's pretty much like a building structure and that building structure doesn't do anything like the Grand Water does when it turns into a statue and starts shooting at the incoming troops. It actually doesn't do anything, it's just another HP building uh, that you have to destroy in battle. It is now my favorite hero in Clash of Clans because of the ability, you can use it numerous times in battle as long as it's still alive. And the fact that it reminds me of Warhammer 40k and a mixture of Thor with that thundering hammer, it's a pretty awesome hero. Type in the comments hashtag electric hammer to let me know you guys watched the entire video. Smack that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and remember guys, stay wicked.